Hello! Welcome to Little Pages. I have here a book entitled All Better and uh, this one is with, uh, it contains five bandage stickers made by Henning, Lolling and Burn Penners. This is a collector, is a collection under this one but this is the most famous among all. Uh, honestly speaking, this one is also my favorite. So for today, we'll know more about this book because aside from the stickers, I will uh give you a detailed review on how you can maximize the use of this book another thing that i noticed when this book is being flexed is that uh we were unable to mention how we can sustain the the stickers because according here if you can use the stickers again and again and just in case it's not sticking anymore you can just simply rinse under cold water to freshen and it will be sticker it will be sticky again so you try that one just in case you have this book and you notice that the stickers or the bandage stickers are no longer sticking to the pages so let's start with the book let's open so we have as you can see we have five five bandages by five bandage stickers so we have the blue yellow green red and violet so just the basic colors plus it contains some images the images are referring to the characters here or to the animals here we have the bear sheep monkey dog and the elephant five bandages for five ouches whenever accidents happen these friends know exactly what to do to make everything all better so these friends these five they all met misfortunes or misadventures so these bandages will make them feel better after those misadventures so let's have the first one so aside from uh, maximizing or polishing developing the fine motor skills of your children while using this book since they will be the one to actually fill this up and put it in its appropriate place there is a story in it and there are repetitive phrases here which is very needed or necessary for your child to learn how to speak so let's see for the first one oh no dog wasn't looking where he was going ouch clean it so we will clean kiss it put a bandage on it which among the bandage stickers here should we put here okay so you let your child identify so you can see we have the red bandage so you can tell your child why the red bandage as you can see you can test also if your child can already know how to identify and tell what is a dog what is a monkey and are they are they color blind can they tell the color so this one is red plus there are some background drawings also the the bones so why bones among all the designs because dogs love bones so after putting the bandage all better so let's have the second page watch out monkey swung too fast and bumped his head ouch clean it so we'll clean kiss it put a bandage on it which bandage so we'll have the green one with lots of bananas so where are we going to put so not just anywhere you have to make sure that your child can tell which part of the monkey's body it's mentioned here he bumped his head so aside from it's also visible here that he has um what do you call this a bump on his head okay all better so they can also remember if they're familiar with the song five little monkeys right five little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head so monkeys love to jump and they usually get uh get their head injured what's next we have oops sheep jumped as high as she could but it wasn't high enough ouch clean it kiss it put a bandage on it so where's the bandage this one the yellow why the yellow one because there's an image of the sheep here plus it's filled with grass so sheep loves to eat uh grass after putting the bandage all better the next we have oh dear elephant got scared and ran away right over her own trunk oh ouch 
clean it. So let's clean. This is the trunk of the elephant. He actually accident. He accidentally ran over his trunk. Okay, is it? Put a bandage on it. So this one, the violet, has the image of the elephant. What is this? What do they love to eat? Are these peanuts? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Okay, so we have here. Yeah, it's peanuts. They, do they love peanuts? I'm not so sure, huh? But it's used here. I'm sure they studied this one. So now, elephant feel all better. So last one. Last bandage is for... Let's see. It's really for the bear. So look out, bear. Ouch. Clean it. Kiss it. Put a bandage on it. Where? Here. Because he accidentally sit on this one with a spiny, thorny uh, trunk of the tree. Then after that, all better. So the last page, dog. I'll let them identify as you read dog. Monkey. Elephant. Sheep. Ah, no, no, sorry. Dog. Monkey. Sheep. Elephant and bear know it's true. Clean it. Kiss it. Put a bandage on it. Makes everything all better. So that's it. That's the story and that's the content of this book. I hope you really find the purpose why this is being loved. The reason rather. The reason why this book is being loved and liked by most mommies and kids. Uh, just in case you love bandages there is another book i can recommend that's the boo boo book but this one is more appropriate for younger kids since the material is uh the material of this one is like uh, it's like a plastic but the texture is like the lamination plastic the use we use uh, the plastic we use in lamination like that oh. and then it's sticky and then uh, as mentioned here if the sticky part is not sticking anymore you just clean it rinse it with cold water and then it uh, it will freshen again and will become like good as new so after that you ask your child to return on its proper place so color identification because this time no more images but only the color so this is the blue one so you put here then for the yellow we have here the green the violet so we have last one so nice book they will really be busy using this one so aside from knowing the the proper way of cleaning our wounds before putting bandages this will also help your child become more compassionate and develop a sense of uh, concern and care toward other people so very nice book for our children so for the boo boo book that i uh, i'm telling you that i also recommend this one is more appropriate for younger ones because the material is more sturdy like a laminate plastic a plastic for lamination unlike the boo boo book that book uh, is uh, containing more bandages so more more opportunities for them to practice their fine motor skills and then the characters there are already people unlike this one animal so it's really for younger ones but for this for the other one that i'm telling you another one with the same concept in which they can stick the bandages the boo 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 that one is i i recommend that for older uh kids like for example six years old five to six years old it's because their 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 fine motor skills are already fully developed compared to younger ones so this one i think this is good for those up to five and I, actually i'm also enjoying this one but just in case for the for the older one the boo boo book is more appropriate this one for younger okay so under it's the publisher of this one this one is published by kane miller oh i love kane miller they're also good in having interactive books so made by henning lolland and burn penners all better with five bandage stickers so thank you again for always supporting our page little pages by mom icy cruz almario see you again next time bye bye